What's up guys, Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing The Republic of Turkey Season 2, sort of. And what we are going to do today, we are going to begin the Rise of Erdogan. Um, as you can, I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, real quick. Um, what I have done here, I did uh, modify um, the game file, so I did um, edit a few of these to kind of make it a little more immersive and a little more, um, um, you know with these uh, parties and stuff like that. So I put their actual uh, party logos and I put the name of the party. So this one is the Nationalist Movement Party of Turkey. It is an extreme right-wing party with about 10 million supporters. Got about 12% of the vote last last election season. Um, and then we have the main party that is uh, under what Erdogan, Erdogan um, has, which is the AKP. The AKP actually stands for something else about what the actual spelling of the name of the name is, but in translation, it is the Justice and Development Party. If that is not it, please tell me. But this is uh, what I um, got in uh, research. So this one got about 49.5% of the vote. Um, next election is not until uh, 2019, um, and so we don't really have to worry about elections for a while. If um, end up making ourselves a dictatorship, we don't have to worry about um, elections at all. So, why am I doing this again? Why am I doing the Republic of Turkey again? Um, the only reason I, did, I kind of started getting an idea of this is because of the recent referendum in uh, Turkey. This referendum was supported by President Erdogan. Um, if I'm saying Erdogan wrong, please tell me. Um, I do want to uh, uh, do this right. And um, I am not, I'm an American, obviously, but anyway. Um, why am I doing Turkey? Um, there was a referendum in Turkey that was supported by the president. And um, basically what this referendum did, basically it turned Turkey into an executive presidency. What it used to be was a parliamentary system. Uh, so we go over here. The parliament has most of the power. And um, what this what this uh, referendum does is that it gives most of the power that was originally allocated for the parliament, um, which I think um, this uh, system was created under uh, President Mustafa, who was the founder of Turkey, uh, back in uh, 1918, I believe, um, sometime around around or after World War One. But anyway, um, and it really kind of changes up the power of who has the power. So it's kind of like this, it goes like, uh, no motion, blah, blah, blah. So I think, uh, I think our goal actually is going to be make it a consolidative role, not, which actually has no real power. Because that is actually the, uh, premise of the series is that, like, I mean, um, President Erdogan, I will give my opinion on this. I do not want the series to be that controversial. If you're supportive or you're against Erdogan, and you don't want me to play as him, and you actually want me to play as the opposition, which I've had a few people say. Um, I understand that. Again, this is really just for entertainment purposes. This is just to entertain you guys. And, um, I did enjoy the first series of Turkey, and I really wanted to come back to Turkey because I really like playing as Turkey, moving it closer to the EU, which actually is actually a cool thing about this is that actually, like, I have one series where the t Turkey moves toward democracy, and this one moves toward turning turkey into sort of a uh, theocracy um run under uh, the majority religion which this would be sunni sunni so let's look at go ahead and look at their but they have influence of the state announcements so really what we're going to be doing is that we are going to uh put the rules and the command commandments of the uh sunni muslim uh, religion into that they will be incorporated into the constitution of Turkey. Determine religion level of religious freedom. Um, complete freedom. We're going to intensely monitor and restrict outside the majority religion. Um, I do not know what that's going to do to Shiites, um, but I know atheists are going to be kicked out. People are not going to like this, but we are going to be doing this under the guise of anti-terrorism 
and um, the War on Terror. So um, I think something we need to do a couple things first off. We need to, for one, we need to start growing our economy. That is important, and we need the economy to really um, get this going. Second off, we're going to establish a military alliance with Azerbaijan. We are going to move it to a support treaty. We're not going to ask for any rights, but we do want to have uh, Azerbaijan as a ally. And three, okay, we don't have any aid to Armenia because the Armenian genocide never happened. That's a joke. Please don't take this seriously. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what we want to do. We need to, for one, we need to kind of make it look like that we're helping out the country because we want to make people happy because we need a lot of approval for these unpopular laws that we're going to be passing in these next few months. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip to the next day. People like that. We got about 10% in approval. Go to the newspaper. Let's read that. Um, infrastructure problems. Lecture all start to get overcrowded. Looks like infrastructure is going to be something that we want to um, work on. So we need to check our growth. Actually, So we have 3%, four, nearly 4% 4 growth. Which is actually really awesome. We need to maintain that growth while also uh, reducing our um, uh, expenses. So we need to cut about nine billion dollars off, nine or eight billion dollars off of uh, um, the budget. I think most of that is going to be you're going to be cutting. Uh, yeah, we have seventy point two billion dollars. Um, invested in health and social security we need to start reducing stars so we are going to employ put that there firm we're going to reduce a star 2.3 billion dollars and then let's build like five hospitals Okay, that put our deficit at about 0.9. Recipe for success. Thank you. War and terror in the Middle East. Complex battle. Interlocutor is reset as uh, accepted, so we do have a military alliance with Azerbaijan now. Um, here's something else we want to reach out to. We are already friends with. United States. We are probably going to be kicked out of NATO um, for the, this uh, human human rights record that we are about to adopt. Um, I think we could abolish national service. Um, I think that would give us about 408,000 conscripts. Um, hmm. Maybe we can keep conscription. We can keep cons we can get rid of it, and then we can ins institute it at a later date, while also simultaneously uh, raising this. We need to get this to about 150 to 200 thousand soldiers. If that's, this does drop off, and not a lot of people join into the military afterward, so let's go ahead and get rid of a uh, national service. Dropped our deficit to about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 uh, estimated. Public finances, well, people didn't like that because of militarism, and it is uh, providing less security for the nation. Uh, so what's something else? We actually might want to uh, start adopting you um, <clears throat> industries into the public sector so we can actually adopt the plastic industry into state control. So let's go ahead and get the parliament and the people's position on this. Oh boy, that's not going to get passed. Um, huh. 73, the Justice and Development Party is not like that. Maybe a TV address? 
Okay, maybe we can do it with a minority shareholder that's going to help us get it get it passed. Uh, here, let's refresh this page. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get passed. We just need to maintain a 67% or higher um, approval rating. Let's go ahead and put more funding into Turkish heritage and monuments. That put us at about 0.4% deficit. Mm, let's go back. Let's go to the, that little plastic industry. Not zinc. Plastic, 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 plastic. Oh, I clicked railroad. Go to plastic. 52.8. We have the People's Democratic Party supporting us. Um, the Republican People's Party Party. Um, is kind of for it. The Justice and Development Party, or the AKP, is uh, half and half. And then uh, the Nationalist Movement of Turkey is uh, pretty much against it. <clears throat> okay. Actually, I also have another idea. We need to come over here and start reforming our nuclear ambitions. Um, we actually, yeah, we don't have that research crap. We're going to have to put money into it. Um, fossil energy, as soon as, as soon as we research, uh, nuclear, nuclear, uh, energy, we're going to have to do that, which actually, I think the end game of this series is actually to get a Turkish nuclear program. Um, Turkey is surrounded by threats such as Iran, Saudi Arabia, and ISIS, so and Russia. Russia is a big player in Turkish politics. And um, a nuclear Turkey would be a deterrent to, the, to uh, Russia and as well to other um, places that could uh, really threaten Turkey. Um, because if Iran can have nuclear weapons, then why can't we? Oh, yeah, because you know of uh, Mr. And Mr. Trump. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and maybe put some money, a little... Okay, we need more people to start research our nuclear ambitions. So we're going to go ahead and put more money into matter sciences. Let's go ahead and put a shit ton of money. Okay, we're gonna max it out. Okay, that raised our deficit. Okay, we have public sector. Public finances, people didn't like that, but um, employment and research got us 12.5% in uh, approval. So... This is uh, something else. I think this is, this kind of reminds me of like a little stimulus package. Um, so we are going to. I know there's a lot of oil in this area, so we're going to build several oil wells, and we're also going to build about two uh, oil rigs in this area in uh, the Black Sea to start extracting oil and to improve the economy of uh, of the Turkish nation. So we're going to go over here, we're going to build one more oil well. That's about maybe $100 million probably put in there. Um, that was about four, so that was about uh, maybe $120, $160 million um, over the next five years. Um, okay, let's uh, see what kind of gas we got over here. Okay, we have good. So we are going to build about two gas wells over here, over in this area. Do one, and then number two, we're going to go ahead and build over here by the Black Sea, next to the city of Artvin. Okay, and then um, it's not letting me build an oil platform. Hmm? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. God bless. We need more unemployed people. Um, 
Oh man, this is embarrassing. Available in manpower, 1202. Um, I think... Need, we need more people. What the heck is the unemployment rate of Turkey? Uh, work. 11... 10% and we have no employed people? Or no people that we can use as manpower? Unless that's talking about the construction industry. I mean, like, we can see what kind of construction industries we get. Uh, building, housing, and roadway. Maybe that affects it, so we're going to go ahead and subsidize that by about $100 million, And we are going to look at the profits and sales. We're going to maybe... <coughs> uh, maybe we can put about a 1% custom duty on it. Um, come over here, let's refresh that. Okay, let's come back to industry. Industry, industry. Okay, we have a custom duty on it. And then we also have subsidize on that. Okay, so it remembers that we have a custom duty on it. I wish we could put like 20% custom duties on it, like a. Like Trump is doing right now in uh, Canada with their lum with the lumber industry, um, because uh, just recently President Trump actually put a uh, twenty percent tariff on uh, lumber coming in from Canada, which uh, really caught a lot of people off guard because they were expecting that he was going to put tariffs on Mexico, um, because he did uh, use Mexico as a beating beating horse. Um, anyway, back to Turkish politics. Um, just recently, Turkey, um, President Erdogan, uh, banned, I think, either certain pages or just the entire website entirely of Wikipedia from being viewed. <clears throat> um, he stated, or the Turkish government stated that this was a national security risk about letting people see what's going on on Wikipedia. Um... In my opinion, I think it's a censorship of uh, free speech, and I think it's a sen it's censorship flat out. Um, I I really don't like what Erdogan is doing. I'm sorry if you support Erdogan, but like I mean, you have your own opinion. I have my own opinion. We're all here. That's what I like to do. I like to hear what you guys think, um, and what you guys feel about what's going on in Turkey. So, question of the day: What do you think about what's going on in Turkey? Do you support Erdogan? Do you not like Erdogan? What do you think of what's going on with the Wikipedia page and like, I mean, how Erdogan is like banned, banned things like Twitter and Facebook in Turkey? Um, give me your thoughts on on, uh, on uh, what's going on in Turkey. Um, anyway, we are going to do one last thing before we go on into the final of uh, the finale of this episode. Um, we are going to put more environmental funding into the Turkish nation. As we want to preserve, <coughs> we want to preserve uh, the nation of Turkey, um, and soon enough we can give tax credits to people using clean cars and air. Anyway, uh, looks like this is about enough for uh, episode one of the Republic of Turkey: The Rise of Erdogan. Um, if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Tell me what you think of this revival of the Turkey series, and if you like it, you want me to go on, uh, because I know you a lot of you guys have been excited for this. If you're excited for what's going to happen in this series, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.